We are here to celebrate the completion of the largest artifact conservation project in this museum's history. In fact, we, we really think it's one of the largest art restoration projects in the South Shore area. Um, the Landing of the Pilgrims has been the centerpiece of this museum since 1824. Uh, it's a monumental painting. It's a wonderful work of art. Uh, for the last three or so months, it's been uh, the subject of a major uh, conservation project, and it is done. The painting is back on the wall. Project is complete, and we're celebrating that. When we arrived in November of 2014, we looked upon a painting that was in remarkably good condition for a painting that was about 190 some years old. Uh, a painting that had not been heavily restored, minorly touched up, minorly restored in the past, but not heavily. Um, so it, it was uh, in quite good condition, but very unstable condition and highly degraded condition. The surface was discolored, darkened with age, and soiling and grime and such. Um, so we, we developed a treatment strategy to remove those layers and then to stabilize and consolidate the paint, stabilize and strengthen the original canvas. We repaired the original stretcher and we restretched it and completed the work with very, very, very minimal in painting, or, or I should say the addition of paint over small areas of paint loss. Uh, the, the process was fascinating. Um, the, the most striking part of the process, of course, was the cleaning process, which is also the most lengthy. Uh, that's when all the brown grime was removed and uh, colors started to emerge and details that we didn't even know were there. Uh, that was really amazing. The impact that this painting has had on this museum, I think is gonna begin anew. I think there was a great deal of celebration in 1824 when this painting was originally installed, and it became a fixture on the wall. It has been uh, such a rewarding process to watch every day. Uh, I've been involved in um, art conservation projects, but uh, never one like this. And uh, I have just learned a tremendous amount from the conservators who are, this team is incredibly knowledgeable. Um, Olin Conservation is an amazing outfit. Um, David Olin is incredibly enthusiastic, knowledgeable. Uh, and I, I really got to hand it to them and applaud both David Olin and Bill Adair, who headed up the frame conservation. They have been um, conscientious in their approach uh, and willing to adapt their conservation approach to fit the museum's needs, to fit the needs of the piece itself. Um, so there's been a lot of adaptation and changing as the process went along. It's been a really positive process, a really, really wonderful project. I just think that the museum has done a fabulous job working with the Commonwealth of Massachusetts to undertake this really important project. I, I think working together, they've accomplished a great, a great feat.